In this video, I want to talk about how random assignment of treatment can actually allow us to evaluate the average causal effect. And remember here what we're interested in is we're interested in whether in a conflict area, whether infrastructure spending actually causes a decline in the level of violence. And the problem we have here is that there is an issue of reverse causality, which was normally confounding our estimates of this effect. Also, remember what we were trying to do. Essentially, what we did is we defined there being some sort of potential level of violence which a given district would obtain if they did receive infrastructure spending, and we called that V1I. And we also considered a, another potential level of violence, which was the level of violence that that state would obtain if they didn't receive infrastructure spending. And what we were interested in, essentially, was evaluating for each state what is the difference between these two potential outcomes, because that essentially tells us the causal effect of infrastructure spending on violence. And these are, in general, going to be different for each different state. They depend on state-specific characteristics. So what we were really interested in figuring out was what is the sort of average level of delta I? So what is the average causal effect? And that's just the expectation of V1I um, minus the expectation of V0I. So this is the thing which we are actually looking to derive, and we called that the average causal effect for obvious reasons. And in the last video, we actually came up with an explicit expression for the difference in mean levels of violence between those states which did receive infrastructure spending and those that didn't. And because of this reverse causal effect, whereby states which had higher levels of violence anyway were the ones that actually received infrastructure spending, this was sort of confounding our ability to actually understand the average causal effect. OK, we're going to see in this video how random assignment of a state to a particular group, in other words, a random assignment of whether a state receives infrastructure spending or not, actually allows us to evaluate the average causal effect. OK, so if I rewrite this, I can say that the first term essentially is the expected level of V1i given that di is equal to 1. We showed that in the last video. And then we just took off the expectation of V0i given that di is equal to 0 because in both of these states, this is actually the thing which is observed, V1i, when that state does receive infrastructure spending, whereas V0i is the level of violence which is observed in a state which doesn't obtain infrastructure spending. And given that we are assuming that di is randomly assigned, that means that di, essentially whether a state receives infrastructure spending, is completely independent of their levels of violence. So we can write then that di is independent to both v1i and v0i. And because of that independence, essentially these expectations don't depend at all on the levels of di. So I can change this second expectation to actually be di is equal to 1. And when I do that, that means that seeing as they're both conditioned on the same level of di, I can just combine them in a single expectation. So I've got here the expectation of v1i minus v0i given that di is equal to 1. And you'll probably notice that this essentially is the average causal effect for those states which were treated, because I've assumed here that di is equal to 1. And also, you might notice that because di is completely independent of v1i and v0i, it actually, this expectation doesn't need to be conditional on anything. Essentially, this is the unconditional expectation of v1i minus v0i, which is exactly the average causal effect, which I've indicated up here because of the linearity of the expectations operator. So in the circumstance where we have random assignment, then the difference in means, the simple difference in means between the two groups actually tells us the average causal effect of the treatment. And also, just to emphasize what exactly this means, so random assignment means that there are some states which are allocated di is equal to 1, and that's sort of chosen randomly, and there are some states which have di is equal to 0. So you imagine there are basically two groups, those which receive infrastructure spending and those that don't. And what this expression here tells us is that essentially the average causal effect in the group which were treated, so that's the average causal effect 1, let's call it, is exactly the same as the average causal effect of the two groups combined. 
because this second expectations term here is completely unconditional on Dion. And obviously what we could have done is we could have just said, change this first expectation to be conditional on di is equal to zero. And then I would have had a zero there. So the average causal effect is the same in either group. And obviously when you combine two things which have the same mean, that means that the overall unconditional average causal effect is also the same.